Hello and welcome back to FM Blog, the original Football Manager YouTube channel. Today we'll be looking at Maurizio Sarri's Sarri Ball. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at Maurizio Sarri's Sarri Ball. It's a 4-3-3 system. Um, I first came across it when he was over in the Premier League playing it with Chelsea. He played it here at Juventus. He won the league in Turin with Juventus, but he failed to win the Champions League, so they sacked him. But it's been successful for him everywhere he's gone, to be fair. He's kind of come under criticism for it. Uh, but today we're just going to have a little look at the tactic that is available over on the FM Blog website. Let me click over there for you to see that. I've just downloaded it, so that's my download notification. Click the button here, it downloads the tactic for you. Um, it's already been tested, and if you go down here, you can see some of the results that we've had during testing. It's a really, really successful tactic. It had some great results. We're going to have a little look at it. Download it if you want. Try it out, and let us know how you get on. We do love to hear the feedback. But today, we're just going to have a little look at it. I'm going to talk you through it. If you don't want to download it, you could probably just input it from watching this video manually. Uh, we'll talk about it, we'll have a little look, we'll see, I'll tell you what I think, and um, yeah, we'll go from there, and then the choice is yours, whether you want to, um, maybe you want to make something similar and use some um, elements from this, that's a good idea, so, it's a custom control possession tactic, it's a 4-3-3, and we'll start off here with the sweeper keeper, so the sweeper keeper is obviously on take more risks, you know, support duty here. Danilo then as a full back with an attacking duty. De Ligt with as a ball playing defender with a defensive duty. Bonucci, Bonucci's pizzas. Sorry, slightly racist. Uh, Leonardo Bonucci. He's amazing, isn't he? Look at those stats. Uh, Leonardo Bonucci then as another ball player. So two ball players. Crucial that we play out from the back in this uh, tactic. I would have thought. Descigalio, my pronunciation obviously is not the best, you guys know that, and I apologise in advance for all the other butcheries of pronunciation that come from this video. Pjanic then, nailed it, Pjanic, centre midfielder, very, very good stats there, deep lion playmaker, we'll just click on here to make sure there's no cheeky additional player instructions, there's not. Uh, so deep lion playmaker, Pjanic then on defensive duty, I've had a lot of success with this role um, in this position with this duty myself, so I'd recommend it. Uh, Emery Chan is a box to box, perfect foil for the deep player and playmaker support. And a Mazella then on the left. I would suggest making sure your Mazella is a uh, correct foot to what side they're playing, if that makes sense, because a Mazella basically is like a half winger, it says here. Um, yeah, it's essentially a half winger, so they're going to be like. Pinging in crosses and stuff, and obviously you want him to be left-footed. So Bent, Bentacla, whatever his name is, uh, he's right-footed, so he doesn't really fit into the into this position here for me. I'd play a left-footer, someone like Sammy Kadir, is he left-footed? Right-footed, but you know what I mean, someone left-footed, or maybe even just swap it over to the right side and have your box-to-box -box there. Emery Chan is right-footed as well. So Ronaldo then, inverted winger. On the left hand side, that's interesting. So, obviously, when he was at Chelsea, Maurizio Sari will be playing Hazard in this role as the inverted winger. Ronaldo, obviously, one of the best players in the world here. We know this, either footed. Bernadeschi then is a winger on the right hand side, which is good. I like that. It gives it balance. You've got a winger, you've got an inverted winger, you've got someone cutting inside, you've got someone staying up wide, you've got your Mazzella, you've got your half winger in the middle there. I like this tactic, I like the balance of it. Dybala pressing forward. Nice. Um, maybe Dybala is not his stats. Maybe. Oh, yeah. He's, ooh, look at that. Work rate. Very, very good. Dybala, very, very good stats. We like that. Attacking midfield centre, really, but very, very good stats to play as a striker as well. Um, gets further forward is slightly conflicting with Dybala's personal traits, but... It looks like these are all default, so there's no individual instructions again here in this tactic, so we're not confusing things. We're basically, we're playing out from the back, we're playing possession football, we're attacking, 
on the wings. We're cutting inside. It's good tactic. So in possession then, the mentality is attacking. Obviously, we know that. We're fairly wide, so we're not, we're not stretching the play loads. We're staying quite compact in the attack. Played out of defence is the only instruction. We know Sari Ball is very um, precise about playing out from the back. Tempo is standard, so it's almost slow. Um, I would call that slow, uh, but definitely suits Italian football, 100%. Um, and means the quality of your chances should be better as well. So you should be getting more clear-cut chances rather than just banging loads of shot at goal. Uh, slightly more direct passing, which I like. Um, if it was shorter down by here, you might just see everything going sideways and no real penetration. So I like the fact that we're playing out from the back, but we are slightly more direct. Um, along with that, working the ball into the box is a nice touch because that will make sure that we're not being too direct, if that makes sense. Mixed crosses. It isn't mixed crosses yet. Yeah, sometimes I like to do that whip to myself, but that's personal preference. Be more expressive as well, which is interesting. I wouldn't have thought that would be in there. In transition then, counter press and counter, very modern, very uh, elite way of playing. You need good players, high stamina, good technique, etc. Distribute to the centre-backs and the goalkeeper. I like this tactic. No wonder he's had some good results off this. Very compact then in terms of uh, vertically compact. We've got a higher defensive line. I just moved that there. Sorry about that. A higher defensive line and a lower line of engagement. So I, I like that touch. That's a different way... Um, a player from what I've seen from some of the tactics that we've done on this series so far keeps that um, area of play quite small I suppose so that you can do the short passing and when you do go direct it's not a long ball essentially because the players aren't that far away from each other standard width again same idea just in, in another dimension and a more urgent press and intensity same as the tactic um, we did the other week Antonio Conte's exact same uh, agency there preventing the short distribution from the goalkeepers so that's it sorry ball guys it's over on the website like i said don't forget to check out fm blog there's a guide to fm over there which is fantastic we've got the new wonder kids reviews book um that's good we reviewed that in a video as well that was a couple of weeks back so check that out thank you very much for watching don't forget to like the video if you appreciate what we do here, hit that subscribe button. If you are new, you can support us on Patreon, follow us on Twitter, etc. So thanks for watching. Speak to you soon.